Now let's look at this circle with a tangent to the circle. If we draw a chord from the point of tangency, we get two segments, a minor segment and a major segment. At the same time, we also have an angle between the chord and the tangent here. Now this angle is equal to the angle here in the major segment, which we will call alternate segment. The angle can be this, or this, or this. All these angles are equal because they are subtended by the same arc. Similarly, for this angle that is subtended by the tangent and this chord, the alternate segment is this. And this angle is equal to this angle in the alternate segment. Now why is that so? We can draw two lines from the vertices here to the center. Now angle X and angle A when added up is 90 degrees. Because we know that a tangent makes a 90 degrees angle with the radius of a circle at the point of tangency. Next, we will draw a perpendicular bisector from center O. So it is 90 degrees here. Now we call this angle here B. Note that angle A and angle B also add up to 90 degrees. Because in this triangle, A plus B plus 90 degrees give us 180 degrees. So A plus B is 90 degrees. Then we can see that B equals X. So we are going to denote this angle here as X. Then this whole angle will be 2X. Now this angle at the center is subtended by this arc. This same arc also subtend an angle at the circumference here. And we have learned that angle at center is two times the angle at the circumference. So the angle at circumference here is also x. So these two angles are equal. Let's look at this diagram. We want to find x. This is the tangent. This is the chord. And this is the alternate segment. So angle x here is equal to angle at r here. If we know r, we know x. So let's find r. This is a diameter and it subtend an angle at the circumference here. And we already know that angle subtended by diameter at the circumference is 90 degrees. Now, look at this triangle. We have 90 degrees and 41 degrees. So angle at R here is 180 minus 90 minus 41 degrees, which is 49 degrees. And since X equals this angle, X is also 49 degrees.